or spend some time talking about profile. This is one of the important topics for QGIS. All your user-specific stuff, including your models, your configuration, everything is saved inside of a special place on a computer called your profile folder. So if I go to settings and user profiles, everybody should have a default profile and I can go to this button, open the active profile folder. This folder is exists at different places on different operating systems. You can see on my Mac, it's kind of in my user. So you can say in my user folder, it's somewhere hidden inside this QGIS folder is a profile. And this profile has multiple things inside. You can see it has got my plugins inside of this. All the plugins I install are here. All my configuration and settings are here. All my models are also here. So in the processing, I have my models. So this is where all the models are stored. If you upgrade QGIS, it'll update all the files where it's stored on disk. If you uninstall QGIS, your profile folder always remains intact. That means a new QGIS installation comes in. It is also looking at the same profile folder, which is great when you say, I want to upgrade QGIS, my profile will always be the same. It's also bad news. That means sometimes people say, I, my QGIS is misbehaving. I will reinstall QGIS. Well, nothing will change because if you install, reinstall QGIS, it's still looking at the settings from this old folder. So if you find your QGIS misbehaving or say something wrong and you want to go back to your factory settings, always go and say settings, use the profile, new profile. So create a new profile. Let's say I'm going to create a test profile. And when you create a new profile, QGIS will start in that profile. And shortly I'll show you what that QGIS looks like. It's going to start QGIS in the default profile as if it was a new install. So you can see this one looks very different because it's just how the default settings are. I don't have any plugins installed. All my models are gone, which I saved. So there are no models here. So now I have a complete factory reset. So a great tip for you and your colleagues and somebody says, something's going wrong. My QGIS is not behaving right. Always have them try with a new profile because when you install a plugin or do some changes, they can affect your all QGIS installations because it's in the same profile. So try with a fresh profile. Usually 99 times out of 100, it's going to fix your problem and you can, can update that. If you like this, go and delete your old profile folder and you have a new profile. Profile is also portable. That means if you say, I really like my QGIS configuration, copy your profile folder to another machine when you install QGIS and you'll have the same settings. So again, profiles is where your settings, your models, your plugins are contained and that allows your QGIS installation to be portable.